Toyota rebuked Donald Trump's declaration that imported cars threaten U.S. national security. In the statement, Japan's largest automaker said Trump's declaration that the U.S. needs to defend itself against foreign cars and components sends a message to Toyota that our investments are not welcomed. The company said it has spent more than $60 billion building operations in the country, including 10 manufacturing plants. Trump earlier Friday agreed with the conclusions of his Commerce Department, which investigated imports of vehicles and auto parts and found they harm national security by having led to a declining market share for American-owned car companies since the 1980s. The White House set a 180-day deadline for negotiating deals with Japan, the European Union and other major auto exporters. Toyota said it remains hopeful that those talks can be resolved quickly but warned that curbing imports would force U.S. consumers to pay more and be counterproductive for jobs in the economy. The company's critique comes two months after its pledge to add $3 billion to a years-long U.S. investment plan. Representatives for other automakers were more diplomatic but also registered concern about the Trump administration's saber-rattling. The Alliance of Automobile Manufacturers, a trade group representing a dozen of the largest domestic and foreign car makers with operations in the U.S., warned Friday that higher prices from tariffs could put 700,000 American jobs at risk. We are deeply concerned that the administration continues to consider imposing auto tariffs, the car lobby said in a statement. By boosting car prices across the board and driving up car repair and maintenance costs, tariffs are essentially a massive tax on consumers, they said.